Hello folks, in a lot of Terraintronics products we use a Wemos D1 board as our brain. Okay, the Wemos D1 board has a little Wi-Fi module on it that we can actually do a lot of software programming on, even if you're not using uh, uh, Wi-Fi. Now, uh, it's powered uh, often by a little USB connector, there we go, and what connects it to a PC for programming is this little chip called a CH340. And to make this talk to a PC, we have to install a driver for that, just like your printer. So in this video, we're going to look at how to install that driver. Now, the chip we use for, for, for this on the Wemos D1 board is the CH340 chip. And SparkFun has a fantastic page on how to install the driver for this. They don't necessarily talk about the Wemos D1 board that we use, but as that chip is used on a lot of other Arduino-style boards and you know, programmable boards, it's the same driver that's used. So on their tutorial, you can find it by searching for SparkFun CH340. Okay, and there's going to be a link... Uh, a little further down, here we go, WH340 uh, Drivers English page, right? You can download the Windows version. That's going to be right here. Here's the page, 341 Serial, download. So you're going to download it like this and open it. Extract that for now. So now let's go to CH341 Serial. And you see in here is the setup. I'm going to right click just in case, and this is before I've plugged in the Wemos 1 to a PC, so I have not plugged it in yet. I'm going to run this as administrator. The first thing you're going to do is click uninstall. And what that's going to do is uninstall the old version that came with Windows, the driver that came with Windows. That needs to be removed. And then you're going to click on install. Now, if you do take those steps and you do those things, then the driver should be installed and you should be able to confirm that it worked. Windows 10 and most versions of Windows, you're going to open something called Device Manager. So I'm clicking down here, typing in Device Manager. There it is. And it's going to pull up this uh, this menu that tells you everything is connected inside of your inside of your PC. Okay. And what I want to look at here is the ports folder. So right now, the only serial ports is what, what it's using. It thinks it's got are uh, some of the Bluetooth. Now. Watch this. I'm going to plug this in. The light has come on. It's now updated. And if I open ports again, you'll see down here it says USB serial CH340. That's the chip. And it's given it a COM port of 10. Now, you're going to need that later when you program the chip. So remember that. And remember that every time you plug this into that USB port on your PC, it's always going to go into COM10. All right. Thanks again, folks.